Hey guys and welcome back to Elsa Lives. So finally some communication shit from Studio Wildcard. So let's get right into this one. So we have the Community Crimes 356 which is the Arc Road Map update, the right Neo Nata concept and more. So we first of all have a complete update from Studio Wildcard so let's just get into this. Welcome to another edition of the Community Crunch. We appreciate your patience as we digested the feedback and consulted with our partners to revise our upcoming plan. So basically, that is Snail Games. As always, we are very grateful to have such a passionate playbase and we hear and understand your concerns. We've decided to make some changes and provide additional information as to why we're taking this approach. So please bear with us as we address some points. So firstly, I think it's the price point and bundle that they're talking about. So I really don't like this, but let's just read it up. First things first, we are scrapping the ARC respawn bundle. Our intention behind this was to provide a package where you essentially got two products for the price of one, which was actually quite good from my point of view. But let's just go ahead and read it. In hindsight, not the best move. Our bad, we recognize how combining ARC Survival Ascended with ARC 2 and requiring further DLC upgrade wasn't optimal. Uh, you're damn right about that. I mean, charging for DLCs, well, it doesn't make sense because people have already purchased and played those DLCs for years now. And also, main reason for not giving ARC for giving ARC 2 the, like, uh, the players knowing what exactly to expect from the game. Uh, doesn't make sense because some players will be like, if it's a different game compared to Ark Survival, so why should we go for it? Okay, let's just go ahead and read further. Uh, so I will send it in Ark 2 and for the DLC was an optimal. Especially since you wouldn't be able to judge Ark 2 as no gameplay or content would be available yet. Yeah, exactly. Here are our new plans. Arc Survival Ascended will now be a standalone package released on every platform, so that's good news for PlayStation. It's for PC, Windows, Steam, Xbox Series S and X, and PlayStation 5 at 59.99. So that's still a bad news for the previous generation because they are not going to get it, and Arc Survival Evolved is going to die in 5 months. To sum it up, the package will include the following pieces of content built in, not sold separately with each remastered and altered for the next generation. So we have the island which will be released at launch date. We have survival of fittest, the island and scorched map variants released at launch as well. Scott scorched earth released at launch. Aberration released by Q4 2023. Extinction released by Q1 2024. Genesis part 1 released by Q1 2024. Genesis part 2 released by Q2 2024. All the community created maps are also to be released over time in 2024. That's not going to be at launch, that's going to be over time. That's the Fyodor, Ragnarok, the Center, Lost Island, Valguera, Crystal Eyes. No longer backward compatible free upgrade. Initially, when we had considered doing an Unreal 5 upgrade, we planned to just port the Switch version of the game. So, this is the whole explanation as to why they're not continuing Arc Survival Evolved. Uh, basically, they're just making way for Arc Survival ascended because they cannot like it's the arc survival vault servers are on an old tech and the arc survival ascended is going to be on a newer generation platform which they cannot integrate so basically they have to scrap it out is basically what they're saying uh but if you want i'll put the link down below if you want to read all of this and get into it so th this will be the last update by the way the ryognathia which will be the ARC's 8th anniversary. So we'll be sending off ARC Survival Evolved with one final content update for our 8th anniversary this June. <clears throat> Releasing the fan elected creature, Rai Neog Natha. Not sure if I'm butchering that name, but basically it's a Sky Giga. Uh, we have a um, comparison, size comparison, so it doesn't look bigger. Like, I mean, it's a big stretch if you're saying it's a Sky Giga, but it doesn't look like a Sky Giga. It's more of an snow owl to an RGL, maybe slightly bigger. So it has pincers and stuff, maybe some poison type damage the way it looks, not sure. But maybe can pick stuff up. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we plan to support Arc Survival Center with new features, including at launch, content drop, creature item structures, and DLC. Our roadmap covered some of those planned changes. And we said there would be more and here's another preview. 
so there's more which they're just giving out like they had told us dynamic water and stuff like that in the previous update so now they are giving us even more information about it so we have dynamic navigation mesh and creature path finding overhaul so basically how creatures move and stuff like that so maybe it won't be easy to trap them but we'll see we have five months to go dynamic navigation mesh i'm not sure about that so maybe meshing or something because of uh, cheaters meshing into maps and building bases maybe we have photo mode that's nice nvidia dlss so that's like um augmenting uh native 4k or something on improving basically it's augmenting and giving better frame rates or better performance so we have dino baby management quality of life update that would be nice wild babies okay okay maybe something like the penguins kairuku which we had before maybe something like that snap point improvements new snap logic improvements so that's going to be interesting if they improve the build and mechanics that's really going to be good so we have character creation and customized improvements so if they're making like somewhere we can change the facial features and stuff to a degree doesn't look similar to all the characters i would be really interested in that and we have cross platform multiplayer and full blueprint modding uh, i know we mentioned this before but we're serious it's happening on pc and consoles at launch and we've got it working internally with overwolf technology this is dramatically changes the nature of the console experience and this list is not exhaustive we're hoping to get even more done and the only reason we weren't covering all of these details right now is that we're still working on them it's taking a significant amount of resources and time with studio Warcraft. we do not want to commit to other particular features on this we're sure we can get them in for launch so that's actually good that they're not committing to anything because knowing studio Walker, they've always had their track record of delaying stuff and we do not uh yeah we read that and yeah we may miss our deadline on certain aspects but they'll come in over time as we continue to support this next generation of arc at the end of the day there are just words and frankly may not mean so much that's okay we understand that we will really convince you seeing screenshots and a gameplay trailer and you will in time we know that we know there are going to be more questions and we'll be sharing more details over time we're not quite ready to pull back the curtains just yet so we hope you hang in there with those survivors it'll be worth the wait so that's basically about it uh, from Studio World Cut. So basically, this is mainly due to snail games. That is why they're just trying to negate the damage which hasn't been done. Because over the week, if you have noticed, there was a lot of backlash for the game. And as well as, I don't actually quite like this. If we see that we have to pay uh, $59.99 for the game. But then once Arc 2 released, we will have to pay another 30 bucks for that. So. It, it's gonna be more pricey now if you see it right now we're saving 20 bucks or 30 bucks but you have to rebuy R2 <clears throat> and for Arc Ascended we have already played through all of this it's just gonna be a remastered version and maybe some changes in the game but we'll see how it is <clears throat> and we also have the Easter Evo event uh, these are the weights I will link in the I will link in the link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that and that's basically about it so yeah so I'll see you all in the next one till then L Survive signing out